Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very exciting video. We are at Burger King and we are gonna be trying out their new ghost pepper items. So, my mouth is gonna be on fire today. <laughs> So they have a new ghost pepper whopper and it has an orange and black bun. How fun is that? It also has some bacon crispy jalapenos melted ghost pepper cheese and queso sauce on a toasted orange and black bun Mmm, so this whopper is only available while supplies last so hopefully they still have it it came out yesterday <laughs> and then they also came out with a ghost pepper chicken fries these are new chicken fries with white meat and there is a ghost pepper spice added to the breading for a ton of flavor and heat so we are going to be getting both of those new items today i also saw that they have a new side you can get called half seas and you could do like half onion rings half french fries or something in like a container which is really cool because sometimes you want to get a little bit of both. Okay, I know this lighting is horrible, but bear with me, guys. Oh. Well. Well. Hi, can I do the ghost pepper whopper and an eight piece ghost pepper chicken fries with a side of ranch and zesty sauce? You did say just the four piece of the ghost pepper chicken fries, right? Eight piece, please. Anything else? And then just ranch in the zesty, and that'll be it. 11.38 for some Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. 11.38 for all of that. Not bad at all. I love the chicken fries. So I cannot wait to see how spicy this is. Burger King came out with a fun Halloween Whopper once before, and I tried it on my channel, and my dad wore a Jason mask, and like, Pretended to scare us all. Miss him so much. It's like still so unbelievable. But I don't think they've came out with a ghost pepper or any other Halloween whoppers since then. So I'm excited to try this. Oops, I'm in sport mode. We don't need to be in sport mode going through the Burger King drive through But happy Friday, everyone. I hope you all are having a great Friday and have a great weekend. Just a reminder to always spread positivity and be kind. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it. And you never know what people are going through, even if they have a smile and seem like they have their life together or their life is great. You don't know what someone is going through inside. So always be nice to people. And yeah, that is my little quote of the day. Hi. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Could I actually pay for the person behind me as well? Sure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You have a great day. You too. I am so excited to try this thing out and see how spicy it is. Can't wait. I cannot wait. It looks super cool as well. Love like Halloween themed anything. Love Halloween. My costume gets delivered tomorrow. I'm kind of like building my own costume this year. I looked on so many websites and I just wasn't finding any costumes I liked. So. I'm being a Bratz doll and I ordered this like cute tracksuit and it says Bratz and then it says Bratz like on the butt. So I'll be nice and warm and cozy. And uh, yeah, it comes tomorrow. So I'll definitely film a vlog over on my second channel, like getting dressed and ready for Halloween. But I'm excited to be here. I think it's going to be so cute. Hi. Thank you. You too. Okay. We got our sauce. Cause I'm gonna need some sauce with how spicy this thing is gonna be probably. <laughs> this tripod is gonna break my camera. I need to get a new tripod because mine has a little crack in it. So it just likes to drop my camera all the time. I'm gonna take off my vest. So we got Zesty. Oh, you're welcome. Aw, the girl thanks me for paying for her order. I got some zesty sauces, some ranch. She gave me a lot of sauce, good. And then the chicken fries. 
They don't smell too spicy, but here they are. You can see the seasoning on them. Oh, <laughs> where'd it go? I found it. Um, I'm gonna eat that still because my car is not that dirty. And here's the ghost pepper whopper. Oh wow, she gave me a ton of sauce. Love that. Is that her saying like it's so spicy and I'm gonna need it? This packaging is so cute. Look at the little ghosts on it. Oh, it's ghost peppers. That's adorable. Whoever created that, you did a great job. That's so cute. I cannot wait to see. Oh, whoa, this looks funky. Take me to Funky Town. Look at that. That is crazy. It's so orange. I need to take a picture of that. Wow, that is crazy. And the Whopper packaging is super cute as well. I love how they actually did different packaging rather than like, you know, just changing up the item. That's very fun. So here's one more look at it. Look at all those crispy jalapenos. Oh, this looks like it was made so nice. Okay, let's give this a try. See how it is. Mmm. Okay, we're gonna have to take a few bites to see like how the heat level is before I judge it because my tongue is on fire. It's pretty hot, but I feel like you need to keep eating it to see how hot it keeps getting. So I'm gonna dip it in some ranch because it is hot. It is pretty hot. Mmm. That ghost pepper cheese is so good. I love the crispy jalapenos on here. Gives it a great crunch. And the bacon as well. Mmm. This is really good. My lipstick I'm wearing today it's um, the Lip Injection Extreme Lip Gloss in the scent Pancake, Maple Syrup Pancake. And like I keep getting a whiff of my lip gloss. And I'm like, why does this burger smell like pancakes? And it's like my lip lip gloss. But it's like my favorite lipstick. I know I, I never like say my lip combos and I always get asked that. But I usually just do a nude lip liner. And then I love the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss. That's my favorite stuff. But I got that new pancake one. It just came out and it smells amazing and it's like a really pretty fall color. Mmm. Yummy. So, it's got some heat. That's for sure. But it's not too bad at all. It's actually like the perfect amount of heat. Like you can still talk. I'm not like over here choking. And it's just like a tongue burn. Not so much in your throat. So that's actually really yummy. Now let's try one of these chicken fries in the zesty sauce. I think these might be a little hotter. Mmm. Those are good. Ooh. Mmm. Really good. Ooh. 
I think it makes it hotter because you're eating it like by itself rather than the Whopper has like all the toppings and stuff on it. And like the bun to kind of cool it off. Oops, a hair, not a hair. This is like a thread from my shirt. <laughs> if it was a hair, I would have probably been like, ew. Ooh, it is hot. I'm getting like a little sweaty. But I'm definitely gonna film a little get ready with me for Halloween. I can't wait. I'll probably do my hair similar. Or I was thinking to order these like really sparkly hair clips. So I thought that would be kind of cute too. And then for when I pass out candy to like the little kids in my neighborhood, I think I might. I was thinking of being Wednesday Adams because I think kids would know who that is rather than a brat stall. I don't know. I feel like Wednesday Adams might be kind of cute. I've never seen the show though. I need to watch it. I know of her. But I've not seen the show. I just think the outfit's cute with like the braids. So I was thinking of maybe getting that costume as well. Because at the Halloween store they have a whole section of that show. But I've never seen it. I need to like watch a show. I've not watched a show or a series literally in a year. I used to always watch them with my dad. And I don't like watching stuff alone. Oh my God, it's so hot. Ooh. Oh my gosh. So I've not watched a series in a long, long time. Just liked watching them with him. But if you guys have any good recommendations for like a show to watch like by yourself, let me know. I'm not even watching The Bachelor this season either. Which is very unlike me. Whew. And Bachelor in Paradise. I should though, because I usually do like watching The Bachelor. Like make a little mini cheese board, and it's so fun getting into a show because you get like so like you get so connected with all the characters, and I just like haven't found a show I see like I'm interested in watching but like you have to like watch a few episodes and that's when you get hooked you know you're not gonna get hooked like right away which I'm excited for your euphoria season three to come out um such a sad story with what happened though Let's try it with the zesty sauce. I want to go to a haunted house too. But I went to the pumpkin patch the other day with my friends and it was so much fun. We got lunch before and we got little wine flights and then we went through the corn maze and we were getting so lost. And it was just a lot of fun. It definitely gets hotter the more you eat it. And because I feel like I'm in like the middle of the burger, that's probably where like all that spicy queso is and stuff too. I got a new ring. I feel like you guys always ask me where my rings are from. So. This one I got from, I don't know why I have like some black on my finger. I don't know what that's from. I was cleaning up my air fryer because I'm going to sell it. I wonder if it's maybe like from the inside of the air fryer or something. But I got this ring at just like a little local place. But I think it's so cute. It's like just checkered print. Um, and then this one is Tiffany. That's like what the T stands for. But I actually lost two rhinestones in it and the ring bent and it got like stuck on my finger. So I was gonna take it in to get it repaired because two of the rhinestones fell out, fell off. And like I love this ring. But it got so bent and stuck on my finger. And I went in there and they were like, you'll have to go to a jeweler, jeweler to have it cut off. 
because they said they let, like they won't cut things off your finger and he like put soap on my hand and like try to rip it off but I was like no like you we're, we're gonna break my finger and I think it happened because I was holding the dog's leashes wrapped around my hand and my fingers like squished the ring together that had to have been like how it happened because I don't know how else but yeah I love this ring and then this one is a Cartier ring um, this was a graduation gift when I graduated high school me and my parents split the cost for it I really wanted it so we like split it half and half so uh, it's a gift from them I just say and then this bracelet I just got two from Francesca's how pretty is that it's like a slinky but yeah I never take these <laughs> just flicking you guys off I never take these rings off and then I just got that one, which I really, really like. I hope it doesn't like, see, I really like investing in nice quality jewelry because I wear jewelry all the time, like all the time. This is from Francesca's as well. And then the small gold one is like the permanent jewelry. I feel like I'm like breathing out flames. But I like getting nice jewelry because I do sleep with it on. I shower with it on. I never take it off. So, you know, I want it to hold up. And, like, I have not taken this off. How long have I been out of high school? Like, seven years? I don't know how long it's been. Maybe, like, five years. Maybe not seven. It's been a while, though. Because I graduated a year early, too. So... But this has not left my finger since and it still looks like brand new and it you know nice jewelry doesn't make your fingers green and stuff like that which pandora like pandora has really nice jewelry too and that stuff doesn't make your fingers turn i actually think this one is the brand pure vita i don't know what that brand is but i've heard of it so you might be able to find it on their website yeah it was pure vita and it was at this like local restaurant and they have like a little gift shop kind of like Cracker Barrel how they have like a gift shop um they just have like a ton of different little knickknacks in there and stuff like that Nibiru Bradley Pandora Kate Spade just like a fun gift shop so I love going to this restaurant ever since I was young to look around at the gift shop after they have Squishmallows Well, I'm like really full. Mmm. These chicken fries were really good. Really, really good. And I love this box. <laughs> so, heat level. It's pretty spicy, but it's doable. Like, it's not like atomic chicken wings from, wing, wing, from Quaker Steak or something. So out of like 10, I would say the heat level is like a seven. It's pretty hot, but like my nose isn't running or anything. But I like the chicken fries a lot. But the burger was super yummy too. So I would definitely recommend trying it. <sighs> kind of getting like hiccups though. If you try it, let me know down in the comments and let everyone else know what you thought and how hot you thought it was out of 10 and if you go and try it make sure to come back to this video and comment because i'm so curious what everyone else says if you agree with me on a 7 out of 10 or if you thought it wasn't spicy at all let me know but please hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video and comment down below your rating and i hope you enjoyed today's video i'll see you all in the next bye guys love you